What is going on guys? Greggles TV. It is ask me anything time. I put a post on my community page on YouTube and I got about 30 questions, I believe. So let's go through every single one of them. The first one comes from Arian M. Can the charger of an S10 charge the previous phones as fast as the S10? No. So the technology has to be built into the phone in order to take advantage of that faster charging technology. What he's saying and asking is that there was a story last week or earlier this week uh, about the Galaxy S10 having like ultra fast charging. So the previous phones won't be able to use the S10 charger to make them charge just as fast as the S10. Next up is Jay Brown. Have Samsung released the Bixby speaker yet? Um, no, it has not been released yet. 2019 is supposed to be the release date. I would assume it's probably going to be in the first half or the middle of 2019 when it comes out. Uh, it's smart. If you don't know about the Bixby smart speaker, it's going to be relatively the same as Google Home and um, Amazon speaker and Apple speaker. You know, we can ask it questions and things like that. I don't have very high hopes in terms of um, it's knowledge base compared to what Google and Amazon and Apple know. Um, I think it'll have some cool features that maybe some of those other speakers can't do, which is what I expect with most Samsung devices. But other than that, I don't have very high hopes for it. JR Kuhn is saying, do you think Samsung will take what the Vivo Next Phone has and make it better, i.e. the dual screen setup? No, I don't think Samsung's going to have anything too, too crazy. I, I'm assuming maybe you're talking about the foldable phone. So I expect the foldable phone really to just fold in and out and not be like something that's going to shock you. Um, so I don't know if that answers your question, but yeah, I don't think, I think the foldable phone will be cool. I just don't think it will be anything that's mind blowing. The Duke is asking, what is your favorite Christmas song? That is easy. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. I love that one, especially by Nat King Cole. Absolute Favorite Christmas song. So DWW63 is asking, will we be able to customize Android Pie on the Note 9 with good luck? I personally haven't tried it um, with the beta version that I have on my Galaxy Note 9, but I assume that you will be able to use it. If it doesn't work right now, I'm assuming you'll be able to use it either in a later beta version of the Android Pie beta software or definitely by the time it launches. Sam Khan says, I want to download the Pi Beta on my Note 9. Can't wait to, for the official one. Please guide me and send me the link in a regular viewers. Don't know what that means. Um, <laughs> I can't send you a link for it. Uh, you should just be able to go into the Samsung Members app or Samsung uh, Plus app and find it within there. So just download one of those apps wherever country you're in and see if the beta is sign up is there. If it's there, you sign up and then all you do is go into your uh, software downloads in your settings and you download it. New York Mets fan 2006. Do you think OnePlus will ever add wireless charging to their phones or just adopt new technologies to increase the speed of wired charging over time? I really think they're going to come out with wireless charging. I would assume probably this coming year and I think when they do it it's going to be faster than what we see on a lot of other phones just like their wired charging is now it's the fastest charging you can get so I would assume when the OnePlus 7 comes out they're going to have some kind of new technology that I don't think it's going to be as fast as what you get with wired charging but I think it'll be somewhat somewhat close. Nicole Lopez, can I please have your GE Force Now account? No, why would I give you that? Sounds weird. Why don't so? Yeah, no, I'm not giving it to you. Next up is Cat Fentanot. Uh, is there a way to easily dark mode everything, Facebook, Instagram, and so on? I'd love to dark mode everything on my phone. I'm so with you. I think it would be amazing to make all my apps, you know, black, dark round with white writing. I'm so into that. I wish there was. I personally haven't heard of anything that does do that. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it comes out in the future, like a, like a vanilla Android update uh, where you can turn on something like that, or maybe Samsung adds it. Um, but right now, I don't think there is anything that does that. But some apps obviously can go dark mode, but not all of them. Craig E. Polito says, what do you think Samsung will do with the Note 10 with all the current leaks on the new S series? I'm assuming you mean like, what are they going to change about it? Um, well, we've heard they're going to make a bigger screen, 6.75 inches. As for like new features that they could possibly add to that, I would think more S Pen features. Um, they kind of added a few this year with it being able to have that Bluetooth button on there so that you can um, you know, take photos or launch apps on there. Other than that, what could they add? I, I think it's going to be very similar to what the S series of phone is. It's kind of like what they've been doing. The S series is very relatable to the Note 9 or the Note series, I should say. And then there's a, a maybe like a better screen in the Note 9 or like 
whatever fast more ram or something like that i think that's what the continuation is going to be i don't think you're going to see new features per se roxanne mccann when is pi ui coming to samsung galaxy note 8 um it's coming in march of 2019 beta not sure but march 2019 is when it will launch with like the real version of it Craigie Polito again, look at him throwing a couple questions in. Will you be going to CES? Yes, I will be going to CES. CES is, I believe it's like January 8th through 12th. So if you're in Vegas or you're going, I'd love to meet up with you. Um, if I met one guy last year, I'm sorry, I can't remember your name. I know he has his own channel that runs like movie reviews. Um, but yeah, I will be at CES for sure. Mr. D's product review channel. What do you think and feel about Samsung coming out with a one terabyte 5G phone? And would you consider getting one? Let me answer that first. Yes, I would consider getting it um, if it doesn't have more RAM than the 512 gigabyte version. Or if it, if you have to get the 5G version and get the one terabyte, maybe I'll still think about it, but probably not. I'll probably just go with the 512. Next up, have there been products that anyone has sent you that they wanted you to review and you thought about them and decided to go against reviewing? <laughs> he always asks me these type of questions. Yes, there have. Um, I'm trying to think of something. Oh, security cameras. Sometimes I get like security cameras and like they just are really awful or I, I can't even get it set up because it's really wonky. So that's usually the, the things that happens with that. What's your opinion about a merger between T-Mobile and Sprint, both positive and negative views? I think it's potentially good. Um, I mean, I think it's better for Sprint customers and T-Mobile customers because what I've heard is that they're going to demolish the Sprint network. And I think Sprint network's probably not as good as T-Mobile's. Uh, not everywhere, obviously, but in some areas. But overall, I don't think it's going to, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it could generate something really amazing with them having that many customers. Maybe they can lower their prices slightly so that everyone gets a better deal. But I, that's my opinion at this point on it. Uh, what do you think about the possibility of Tesla taking over the GM plants? They are closing, going to close. Not a big car person. What do I think about it? It's cool, I guess. Kid puts people in jobs again. Um, but other than that, I don't, I don't really care. Uh, do you do research about stuff that's in the R and D stage that hope comes to market so then you can get it and then do a review on it? Not really. No. If something pops up, maybe, but I can't think of anything that has that have done that lately. The closest you probably come to that is probably like Kickstarter. Sometimes like Kickstarter companies or Kickstarter companies that are in Kickstarter will reach out to me and be like, hey, do you want to review this product? I'll look it up and I'll like, oh, it's on Kickstarter. But that's probably the closest I get to R&D. Uh, have you heard about fluoride battery technology? What is the R&D stage? And if so, what do you think about I don't know about it, so I have nothing to add to it. Stephen and Julie, what was your first smartphone? First smartphone? Uh, oh, uh, 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 it was the. I've said this before. Someone else asked me this question. It was the BlackBerry. Um, it had like two letters on each key. It was like a candy bar phone. I don't remember what it was called. If you know it, just put it in the comments. But that was my first smartphone. And then, like first smartphone I loved would definitely be the iPhone 3G. I loved that phone. That was amazing. Uh, Manny Texiera says, "What phone are you getting? Are you using now? And do you plan on getting the S10?" So I actually use two phones right now, which my other phone isn't with me. So my main phone that I use all the time is the Galaxy Note 9. My other phone is the OnePlus 6T. Um, so those are the two phones I, I, I have right now. Do I plan on getting the S10? Yes, I do. And I will be getting rid of the Galaxy Note 9 because at that point, they're pretty similar. I don't use the S Pen that much. And I would assume the Galaxy S10 is going to be a better overall phone than the Galaxy Note 9, at least in my my usage. Uh, Jared Ikozaba, I Ikozobo, <laughs> what is your favorite Galaxy phone of all time? Mm, I, I, I mean, Galaxy Note 9 is definitely my favorite, but like one that got me, I'll say, I'll kind of tweak your question a little bit. The most exciting one I would probably say is the Galaxy like Note 3 or Note 4 because it was one of my first Android phones and I was like, oh my God, you can like change everything about this and you can do so much with it. So that would probably say those phones were probably like some of the most exciting phones for me. Marcubus Moore, can you talk more about the S10? I like it a lot. I don't know what you want me to say. I talk about it basically every day, but uh, 
uh, you're getting potentially three or four cameras on the back. You're getting a better processor, Snapdragon 855. The cameras on the front also, you're getting up to two cameras. Um, I'm excited about the wide angle lens probably on the cameras the most. Um, I think that's going to be a really cool technology and that they have added to their camera setup because they don't have a wide angle camera to capture like so much information that's, you know, in the room at a fairly close distance. That's what I think is really cool. So I guess that's my Galaxy S10 takeaway for you. Uh, Greg A, best IPTV with a guide TV catch-up. I've been using uh, DStreams. It's dstreams.net. Um, it's probably not the best, but I like it because of the, the software. It, it's kind of like cable, but it's really fast. It has catch-up now. Um, it, the guide is, it has a guide. Guide isn't perfect, but it's right sometimes. So overall, I'd go dstreams, the letter D, streams.net. That's how you go to their website and sign up. Um, Mina Chem Schwartz says, T-Mobile Note 9 Beta. Don't know what you want me to say with that. Um, I don't know when it's coming out or if it's going to come out, but uh, hopefully that answers your question. Sanchin Acharya. I'm probably killing everybody's name. In an earlier episode, you said Note 9 Beta. You won UI Code Show's Bright Sight. That Sammy's working on it. Will that be updated in a later version of One UI or is that for a, fl- for a new flagship? Please confirm. Thank you. It's been spotted in the Galaxy Note 9 Beta camera software. Is it going to come out for this? I would assume it would. I would assume it's going to hit the S9, S9 Plus, and Note 9. And then I would, maybe even the S8, S8 Plus, and Note 8. I don't know. But I would assume it's going to hit the 9 versions. Definitely the 10 version. So my guess would be it's going to launch with, with, with the Galaxy S10. And then a month or two later, probably come out for the Note 9, S9, S9 Plus. Just so that the S10 has something exclusive just for a little bit. Abba Roy says, what are the latest features may be adopted by Apple in his incoming, upcoming iPhones? I don't know what you mean by that. <laughs> what are some features that they're going to adopt? Um, I don't think much of anything. I would assume that the next iPhone is going to be very similar to what we got this year. I don't think you're going to see much of a difference. I think you're going to get the notch. At least that's what we heard in a previous uh, video that I released. Um faster processor, nothing really crazy. Maybe they'll update the software so you can customize it more. I know a lot of people are upset and bored by iPhone software because they want a little bit more control with customizing it. Maybe they'll do that this upcoming year. Wilson Chavi says, if you had the option to pick either the S10 Plus 5G or the Samsung foldable phone, which one would you go for and why? Um, Probably the foldable phone just because it's something brand new realistically, I'd probably get more usage out of the S10 Plus 5G just because it's normal and that's what I've been using on a regular basis, that type of phone. Um, so, I'd, But foldable phones I, I, is, is definitely more exciting because it's, it's a newer technology. So I'm going foldable phone. Brandon Miller, your opinion on the NVIDIA Shield TV would be great. Man, I've done so many videos on that thing. I love it. It's the best um, TV box that you can buy. It does 4K video. You can game in 4K. You can stream PC quality games at 1080p 60 frames per second from a server like that they have. So like you buy the game through Steam and then you stream it. So it, it's a great thing to buy. It's as low as like 150 bucks, 160 bucks. It's, it's a definite buy, guys. If you if you want something to watch TV on, it works amazing. It has a lot of apps. And uh, if you like the game, it's another bonus that it has. <laughs> J-Rod asks, what about talking about the infamous light leak bleed that Samsung phones have had on their phones lately? On their phones, mostly all the way back to the Note 7, I guess quality control has been a bit lacking over Samsung. Look the issue up. J-Rod, don't notice the issue on mine. If I do, maybe I'm blind. It doesn't bother me, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, next up is Angelo Blanis says, so it will have charger for other phone for S10 and Note, my S10 turn off by itself. I don't know what you're asking, bro. It will have a charger for other phones. I don't know what you mean by that. I'm sorry. I would love to answer that question. I don't know how to answer it. Uh, Terrence Smith says, would you buy the S10 Plus or the Note 10? Note 10 is going to be a better phone, most likely, in some area because it's, an, it's, it's a phone that's going to be newer. So if you can wait, get the Note 10. If you can't wait, get the S10 Plus. Emily Acevedo says, what do you think of the S10 coming out later? Should people upgrade from their S9, S9 Plus? Do you think the Phone 10 camera will bring any new features? What about upgrading to the Note 10? Can you do a review on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S4? 
Can't do it on the Galaxy Tab S4. I'm not buying it and they won't send it to me, so I'm not going to do that. As for the S10, should you upgrade from the S9, S10 Plus? It's up to you, obviously. I love upgrading every phone because I love getting a new phone. So if you love getting new phones and you don't hurt your budget that much, or it's built into your phone plan to easily upgrade, then upgrade. It's definitely worth it for you. Um, Tim will bring S10 camera will definitely bring new features. You're looking at night sight or bright, you know, night mode. Um, I'm assuming they're going to have they're going to have the wide angle on there. Those are just two features that we probably know about so far. And then what about upgrading to the Note 10? Note 10, yeah, I definitely upgrade. I mean, it's the same thing. I mean, like, do you want a newer phone? Do you want something that's slightly better or a lot better? Then do it. If you can't, then stick with what you got. Marvel Williams says, what's your thoughts on Samsung Galaxy Watch? For a person that's new to the smartwatch era, is it worth the buy? If you've never had a watch, I think you'll enjoy it. It's something, it's it's pretty exciting and fun. Um, if you, it's a really nice watch. It works really well. It's really fast. It's definitely the, and it's easy to navigate and use. So yeah, I would say get the Galaxy uh, Watch. It's, it's a fun experience. Darnell Rucker says, do you think Samsung will continue making p- p- tablets after the S4? Um, I, yeah, I do. I think they'll make another Tab S5 uh, tablet. I think that'll be the next one. I think they're going to modernize the look, especially with the way Apple did this year where they like slimmed out the bezels, got rid of the home button. Um, it's like a beautiful 120 hertz display, which I think they had last year as well. Uh, so yeah, I think they're definitely going to up the ante with the S5. So Mark, Merrick's GW is asking tutorial for... Uh, tutorial for Note 9 to get One UI. So if you don't, you're going to have to hack it, obviously. Just Google that into Google, and it should bring you to uh, the website. I can't think of the company's name right now. They do all the hacks, but they'll definitely bring you there and show you how to install it, if you can. And then the last question comes to Christopher Sullivan. Do you think Samsung, Apple, and other cell phone companies are getting carried away with the outrageous prices for their flagship phones? Somewhat, but if you break it down like this. So, so OnePlus which has basically almost, almost, there's a few things missing, the same specs as a any flagship phone that's on the market, have it be from LG, Samsung, Sony, whoever it may be. But they're using like a phone that's designed by Oppo, which is a Chinese company. It's basically the same looking phone if you compare them together. And they're not really putting a lot of you know effort into designing the phone. Whereas Samsung, LG, Sony, Apple... Um, they have to design their phones from scratch. Generally, Apple kind of doesn't. App, Samsung didn't really this year. They also have to pay thousands of employees' salaries. They put tons of advertising out, so that pays for it. So, like when you compare it that way, you're paying twelve, thirteen hundred dollars or whatever for a phone because you're paying for people's salaries, their health insurance, the advertising they put on the phone, the design of the phone, the features that go in the phone, like everything. So, like. That's why you're paying so much. If they didn't have that much overhead, the phones would be a lot less and they'd probably be able to compete with OnePlus's prices. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every single day. Thanks for watching. If you watched the whole video, uh, put a little emoji. Put an emoji, any emoji you want, so I know that you watched it all the way to the end. We'll see you guys down the road. Peace.